I'm using three floating viewports to present this design. Let's just zoom extend so we can see the whole design. Each viewport frame I've left set in red so that you can see them relatively easily. So this frame here is a porthole, if you like, a view into model space. Let's double click and move in it. That surrounds the design proper. And I'll click display on layout again deactivate the viewport but if I wanted to look at just the plant schedule I can select that frame carefully and then keeping my mouse outside of the frame containing the whole design so I'm just in this little channel here I can say activate the viewport and I'm looking directly at the plant schedule I can display it on the layout again I need being careful to stay outside of the larger one I can deactivate the viewport. If I pick this one here, just want to show you how careful you do need to be. Let's keep our mouse in this zone so we're outside of the main frame and outside of the overlapping area and just say let's activate the viewport. Now we're looking at the ground cover. So I'll display it and deactivate it. So Let's zoom extend. So you do need to be quite careful about how you set those frames up. Now, of course, they will print unless you leave them on a non-printing layer, which is certainly one option. But you can select all three floating viewports and change their color to color 255, which is white. And then unselect all. So now we're looking at borders are now white on a white background. So now we can see, we can do a quick PDF, save to PDF if you like. I always try and do that to test things at this stage. Save as PDF. I'll put a box around and click. Notice we haven't put any site information, logos or anything else. There is some space left for that on the right hand side and I'll have one here called show James and overwrite it that should swing to my PDF reader and we can now zoom in and you can see the quite high level of detail we've got in this drawing I'm using heavier lines for the outlines of the building rather than lines on the inside are left fairly thin so I hope you can see that setting floating viewports and learning to use them and manipulate them is a very important step in your GK Plus learning.